G'day all, Aussie Pop and Paul with Disney J. So today what we're going to do is jump into soda displays. How do you display your sodas and what do you use? We all know that flock sodas such as Yogi Bear here that is flocked. If you leave it out, what happens, Jay? They get very dusty and look pretty bad. Absolutely. So there's a few different ways to display these. So what we have been using is these foam displays. So that's a, a foam display. You've got two levels. These little bits go on. And these are from Doman. I'll put a link down below. Doman Productions? Yep, Productions. And they're pretty cheap. Um, and they do the job pretty well. Uh, you can either have them sitting out just on your shelf like this. And let's have a look what it looks like. With, so it's got a little pulp holder. You can put your can on there. And you can put your soda there. So that goes in a hard stack. It does go in a soft stack, but it doesn't really fit very well. So these are quite good. Once you have them in here, I'll show you that. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> so once you have it in, and it's all sealed up. Ta -da. So that's what they look like. Keeps all the dust and everything away from the soda. So what we'll do, we'll have a look at another option. But before you pull that, let's just show you guys a little bit closer. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can actually see it. Actually, it looks really good. You can see the um, art on the can. You can see the figure pretty well and the pog as well display. So this is actually a really good idea. Probably not so cost effective because I reckon a setup like that would cost roughly these days with the hard stacks being about twelve dollars. So you'd be looking at about fifteen, sixteen dollars with the base and the hard stack, which yep. is quite expensive if you have a big collection like this and you spend sixteen dollars on each one. Now the next one is a bit of a beast, to be honest. <laughs> so this is them. They look like drums. <laughs> <laughs> that if you have a look at the size difference, they're a little bit wider than a standard pop um, or protector or anything like that. So they are pretty big. It's um, got a turtle shell on it. They, like. <laughs> or yeah. So there's the lid. Is that a turtle shell? Um, I think so. Maybe. <laughs> so they do have a magnetic lid, which clicks on quite nicely. Uh, so and the strength of it. Oh, these are, so these are collector protectors. Uh, they have a very thick. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, and these are really thick. They're, it's five mil thick. Um, look, I like them, but I think they're a bit big and bulky and all that. So let's set it up with the same things. I didn't realise these had the um, disc inside. Yeah. Or the disc base. Bit annoying to get in. But once it's in, it's in. Only because you've got big man hands. <laughs> <laughs> and what I don't like about this one is that it hides half the character. Uh, it does have the magnetic lid, which I do like. And that's what it looks like up close. So, look, they are good, but very, very bulky. But can you change it around and put the can there in front of the pole or... Is there not the space? No, it won't. There wouldn't be enough room. Okay, that's okay. So, look, these are really good. I guess it's good for a really expensive soda. Um, so, I might use it. I haven't decided yet. Um, it's collector protector. Is that Australian? Uh, I believe so. I'm not 100% sure. But I think they're out of stock of these anyway. But I just thought <laughs> I'd show them off because they are something different. Yeah, different people want to display things differently. Absolutely. And that's the thing. And that's why we're sort of showing off all these different options. If you only like to collect the really expensive ones, then these might work really well for you. If you just want to display of about 10, and you can have the um, can next to the actual figure. That nope. way. <laughs> <laughs> so there's one, another option. Um, now, we also got sent over from 7 bucks a pop. These... Which is US. Which is in the US. So these soda tubes. Um, haven't seen them yet, so this is going to be a, a opening, for everyone, to <laughs> opening see. for everyone to see, and a true and honest uh, appraisal of them. 
Now, seven bucks a pop do actually ship to Australia. To Australia, absolutely. But as you know, shipping could be a little bit expensive. But if it's something that you really want, hooray! Oh dear. <laughs> so then let's it's definitely try worth it. Get these. I need another box. Oh dear. We're See? gonna throw them on the floor. The cats are gonna go wild. All night long, you're gonna hit. <laughs> That'll be fun to pick up later. Okay, so let's I'm gonna grab this box from you. Thank you. There you go. Oh. I so, Pop Shield Soda Tubes. I'm interested to see these. Well, it doesn't say tubes, it says tubes. Tubes, not <laughs> tubes, tubes. Soda so tubes. there's the back of the box. So let's crack into it. Put it boop boop. Now far won't help. It was very nice of um seven bucks a pop to send it yeah, to us. Absolutely. Um all the way from the US. All the way from the US. So there are six in here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What the heck are these? Oh, with huh. a little instructions of how to display. Have a look, where do these go? <laughs> there you go. You <laughs> While you do that, I'll we'll have a look. And let's have a look. We'll pull one out. All individually wrapped. Oh, the ticket dot goes on the bottom of the figure to stop it from falling over okay. in the tube. Well, let's pull out two. Yeah, let me have a look at one. Oh, oh cool. So they come... Box out of the way. Oh, that's a little pog stand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're pretty good. They're not super duper thick, which is great. Cuts down the weight of it. The weight of it. Especially it being shipped overseas. And they've got the Pop Shield Armour logo, if you can see it there. And then a pog stand that I'm assuming goes on top. So let's try out. Our little fella here. So it fits pretty well. And that goes on there. That clicks on there. Oh, I see. And then you can display your. Oh, depends. You might have it on backwards. <laughs> no. Yeah, flip. Stay there. No, not that. Your pog, the pog stand might have. No, no, no. So it depends which way you want to display it. Put it <laughs> in that way. No, 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 because it leans back a little bit. That way. Yeah, no. That's... So there we go. That's I actually cute. quite like that. Yeah, I actually really like these. They're good displays, and like I said, for something. Something like this. And they seal really yeah, well. Like they've got awesome. a good seal on them. But the instructions have several ways that you can do it. So that's one way. Okay. I'll leave that. Let me reach over you. So you could have the figure in one and the can in another, is how they display Let me it. just get him. Well, don't get him out. Upright. Put him next no, no, to it. No, no, I'm going to stand him upright. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's why you have sticky dots. Yeah, so you can use your sticky dots for the bottom of your. Stick the figure in Stick so it doesn't fall over. In. And then you can put they stack they're stack up fully stackable. Yeah. And you could even put your pog at the top if you really wanted to. Mm -hmm, which is how they show it. So it can be side by side, three piece, you can have the pog stand in the middle, sealed can. See, there's lots of ways. It's very creative. So what I would probably do is just do that and I don't think I'd use it for the can unless it's a really really expensive one I no. think I'd just display it like that yeah. or the can at the back agreed just depends how you want to do it but I'm a fan of this one mm -hmm. and if you think about it, the way that you actually stack your cans on this side you actually have the pog on top absolutely so that is perfect that is perfect um another way that you can display it is getting one of these toppers so this has got a little hole at the front there you go Oh, you can't that's really also from Doman. Yep, that's also from Doman. So that sits on top of the can. And you can 
put it like that. Um, and you can either display your soda at the top. Not so good for flocked ones, to be honest. <laughs> no. Or in front of the can. That's how I do most of mine. I mm -hmm. do it like this. Um, but I think for all the flocked, I'll be using these. Yeah, I think I'm it's really good. Definitely be ordering some more of these whoop, without throwing parts away. <laughs> so, how do you display yours? What do you think the best is out of these three options? I want to know does anybody actually throw the cans away? I've, Some people do. I, I, I couldn't imagine throwing the cans away, but let us know if you're one of those you just want the figure and you chuck away the can. <laughs> so, we'll be right back evaluating these three items and saying which one we think is number one, two, and three. We'll be back in a second. Okay, so the vote's in for us. These are our preferences. Number three is the collector protector, just because it's so bulky. Um, it's hard and, to get your hand in to put the yeah, pole into. And the, you know, sort of cuts off the display of the actual soda. Um, next. Yep, number two is this one, which is how I display mine at home. But that was before this. I might have to invest in these. But this, I reckon, looks good. Figure, pog, can, all in this acrylic case. I actually think that looks really good. Slides in perfectly next to the four-inch pops as well. So if you've got, like, the Billy bookcase, which a lot of people use from Ikea, they just slot in nicely. And third, we've got the um, soda tubes. Tubes? Tubes. <laughs> um, which I'm really impressed with. These are going to look great with for all the flocked ones. I'm going to put all my flocked ones in them. I agree. And the smelly one as well. Stinkle, oh, yeah, I think stinkle. it'd be good in that one. Um, and it takes up less room. So when I put the can behind it, might be able to raise the can up a little bit so you see it. Don't know yet. Have to figure all it out. But I'm really impressed with all these. Mm -hmm. So tell us what you think about these. What would you choose? How do you display your sodas? And don't forget to... Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Until next time, bye for now. Bye.